Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I am Anna and I'm a little bit spooky and today we are playing with the Carly Bible palettes. Does it look like my aesthetic? Not really. But I created this really, really pretty look that I am actually really loving with this palette. And yeah, we're just gonna sit down, do a good old fashioned tutorial. Maybe talk a little bit here and there, but not super chatty or anything like that. And yeah, we just play in some makeup and create a look. So if you want to see how I got this look, you can go ahead and keep on watching. But before you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know some new palettes that you were interested in. Girl, I am interested in basically everything that Melt has put out recently. And uh, yeah, let me know some palettes you would like to see reviews of or whatever, and just some things that have caught your interest lately. Let me know down below, and without further ado, let's get into this look. Today, we're gonna play with the Go Carly Bible palette and create a look. I think we're gonna go in with Steph, Cindy, maybe Aura today, and a little bit of Moo. Got a little bit of a game plan, a very loose one. I have problems with my eyes already and in my brows, as I like to do when I start a video. And we're just gonna jump on in here. First thing I'm gonna do is go with my brow bone highlight. I'm gonna take bare. Just gonna take a little bit of bare, run that along the brow bone area. This is a slightly satin shade. It looks much more yellow in the pan than it does on the eye. You see it's very brightening and really pretty. Like I love that on the brow bone. But in the pan it looks quite much more uh, yellowy and dark than it actually is. It has just that nice, a little bit of like a luminosity to it, but it's not a shimmer. It's a very nice smooth satin. I really like that texture of it. All right, now we're gonna take the Morphe M441 and we're gonna go into Cindy and we're gonna run that through the transition. Ooh, peachy, nice. Very pretty. Oh lord, the kick up on it. The kick up is real. And we're just gonna blend that up and out through the transition creasy area of the eyeball. Windshield wiper motions, a little bit of a swirly whirly action. Take it pretty high up to the brow on the inner part. And just let that flow. The, pig the pigmentation is quite nice. Quit staring at my burn on my hand. <laughs> I hit the iron at work cutting fabric and just whoop, right into the iron with the side of my hand. I didn't realize it was as bad a burn as it was until I stuck my hand in my pocket the next day and didn't realize it had blistered. And yeah, found it then when the blister got pulled off or the skin over it did on my jean pocket and that felt fantastic. So I've had to wear band-aid on it for uh, quite a few days just because it's been annoying and in the way and every time something touches it it hurts but it's healing it's like almost healed now it's just more of a mark it's funny is that i ironed my finger like my pointer finger no mark nothing didn't do a thing i swear that iron that burn had to have been like worse <laughs> but it didn't even blister this one barely touched the iron huge blister there's lots of dangerous things at my job things sharp things everywhere <laughs> I didn't hurt myself this past week though, so that's something. Wow, that blended on so smooth and nice. Look at that. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take this little e.l.f. tapered brush. Uh, this is just an e.l.f. eye blender brush. I love these because they're kind of tapered and pointy. And I'm going to jump into Stev on the tip of it. Knock off the excess and bring that just a little bit lower. Ooh, yeah. That's pretty. This is like a, just a raspberry matte shade. And just kind of marry that into Cindy. Doing a lot of windshield wiper motions today. I'm kind of building that up. Very sunset -y. I did a look with this eyeshadow the other day, just, and I did not like it. <laughs> but my eye was also kind of irritated, so maybe this wasn't the best color to go in when you have already irritated eyes. I was having some allergies that day, and yeah. Now I go back to the other brush, bring a little more Cindy in, just around the edge, so we keep that warmth right there. I feel like I'm saying Steve, but saying it with a funny accent. Funny accent. Steve. Elf brush is actually softer <laughs> than the Morphe one. I like them both for different reasons. Now I also want to bring this shade on the lid, so I'm gonna take a M56 and just start kind of 
Coming up out here and pulling it onto the lid. Focusing it on the outer corner. Let's add a little depth to the outer corner I'm gonna take. Bowie. I thought that was boy. It is Bowie. I watched her video. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that right out here. Just tuck it in this outer portion just to bring a little bit of a depth. I'm just let that float into instead of. I do really enjoy the tones in this palette. I think it's a very nice spring palette. It's To me, it was a very odd fall launch. I understand that it was leaked early. This is by far much more a spring scrimming palette to me, like this time of year. I think despite it being leaked, they should have just held out until this time of year to release it and let Jackie have her moment with her palette in the fall. Because even though it was leaked, it was not that big a deal. I mean, people would still would have bought it when it came out. But what do I know? I don't work in marketing. I do kind of work in marketing, but... Not, not in cosmetics really, unless you count marketing myself. I'm just taking my time with the blending, you know how I like to do. Blend slow, work in st little stages, get a little more stub. And something about ABH eyeshadows are just a pleasure to blend, because they just, they just work and it's just an enjoyable experience that you just want to keep doing it and doing it and doing it. Alright, and same brush, I'm just going to get a little bit of Cindy. Cindy is very powdery. Tons of kick up. Steve actually didn't have too much kick up at all. But my goodness, does Cindy have some kick up. Now on the lid, I'm right, gonna take the brush skin with the palette and the little packer on her end. We're gonna go into Aura and get onto the blank spot on the lid here. Hmm. That's a pretty flaky shade. It's pretty, it's a little flaky. A little chunky, a little dry. I might dampen my brush after the so or going with a finger maybe. Oh yeah, it's not as dry. You just need the finger. It's quite a shimmery metallic shade. It's dual chrome, I do believe. It has like a kind of a golden warm shift to it, and it's also kind of pink. It's pulling just more pink in my lighting, I do believe. I like that. I mean it's not too dissimilar for something I can create with naked cherry, but it's still very pretty. I'm gonna take a little more boy. Bowie. Right here. Let's get a little more depth. Bowie is quite an odd shade, isn't it? It's quite ashy. Because it really does just add good depth without a whole lot of color. That makes sense. If I've been focused this whole time, I don't know. Now we're going to take a little bit of Moo and hit that in the inner corner part. Right in here. Let's move it up. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Ooh, pretty. Oh, that's very pretty. It's very nice summery spring. This time of year look. Now, I'm going to go on to liner, and I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Liner. I'm just going to take that along the lash line. Okay, I'm going to tidy that little wing up a little bit with a Q-tip and some Isolar, clean up the fallout, do my complexion products, and be back for the finishing touches and lower lash line. And we're back with complexion complete. And okay, so let's do some blush and highlighter. <laughs>
<laughs> is that what you say? It gets a person who rub it. <laughs> Just vigorously go into that. I can vigorously go into this blush because it's very uh, gently pigmented. I want to get some more shades of these because I really like the formula and it's so pretty, but like I need a million blushes. I don't. I really don't because they all roughly look the same. Basically, I'm like, I need like two blush colors and I'm good. But it's just fun to have the variety, right? And it's kind of boring for you guys to see me use these same products or whatever, but I'm a creature of habit. A little bit. Just beat the shit out of your nose with it. There you go. It's a little bit of an e-girl vibe in there. Lips. I want to use... Oh shit, I forgot my lower lash line. I kind of like the way it looks like this, but we can put a little something there. If I can stop scratching my hand. I'm going to take my... We're going to do pillow top just right up on the lower lash line. Just right up in here. Real close. Ooh, that's so pretty. So I was looking over my you know, paperwork that they give you when you're going to have surgery. And it's like... Do not wear makeup and take your piercings out. I'm like, I feel personally attacked. What's the little eyebrow gonna hurt? <laughs> Why do I gotta be browless and look like crap if I'm gonna have surgery? But I did buy me like the super cutest PJs to wear to and from and while I'm at home at the Target before I had to be super duper quarantined prior to surgery. At least I had to be quarantined for like four days. Yeah, four days. Uh, and then they're gonna do the COVID test. It's not like a, I don't think it's like to see if I have it. It's like testing my antibodies. I, I don't know. I didn't look into it that much. I just that's what I gotta do. And um, yeah, but they said like, stay the fuck at home basically. So I got to take, I got to work uh, to what, the end of the week and they called me that day and said, okay, nowhere, stay home this weekend. And after you test Monday, do not leave your fucking house. <laughs> like, the long lockdown, serious quarantine. So, okay, yes ma'am. Alright, I'm gonna use the brush that I ragged on so damn much <laughs> from the uh, little Sassy Sienna's palette. Because it's so teensy tiny, I think it'll be just right for kind of smudging that out just a little. But anyway, yeah. They said like, no makeup. And I'm like, Bitch, I was gonna put a brow on just to look presentable because that's how I am. <laughs> I'm taking a little bit of stev now, just on the little tippy tip of this brush and keeping her tight to that lash line. Feeling sassy all of a sudden. I don't know what happened. And I'm taking the other hand here and just blend her out. Yeah, make your face. Yeah, the paperwork wasn't very specific to the surgery that's happening or anything. It was just very, mostly just about the anesthesia. So I still like, don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat that day and all that shit, like afterwards anyway. I don't know if I'll feel like eating, honestly. I don't know. My stepmom has had her gallbladder out and she said there is nothing to it and that I will be fine and all that. And I'm um, trying to be positive, but my anxiety is, you know. Alright, let's take a little bit of moo, which all I can think of is Doja Cat. What Carly say this was like named her, her best friend, they call her Moo. Only person that I'd say can call me Moo is Doja Cat, okay? It's kind of insulting. <laughs> Rude. If I have an eyeshadow palette, there's gonna be a shade in there called Heifer. Stubborn Heifer. Okay, I'm taking Bolly. Bolly, I think is how she pronounced it. Oh my bitch, it's Bolly. Bolly's got an A in it. But whatever. Just hitting there in a corner with it. A little bit over Moo to lighten it up because Moo's a bit dark on me. And on that blendy end of this brush, I'm just gonna. Dip it. Oh, that's pretty. Are my brows like large and charge today? <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> you girl ain't been grooming them. I did, okay, I did pluck like two hairs today, alright? Because they were down here. Anyway, let's see. I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm totally done with the eyes. Alright, let's move on to the lippies. Lips, I'm gonna use Pat McGrath Labs in. This is the Matte Trance Lipstick in the shade Omi. Which I believe is named after Naomi Campbell. I like Naomi Campbell. I think she's a, a hoot. 
on it. I've watched her like in some interviews and videos like with Jackie Aina and Patrick Starr and I thought she was really endearing. I think she's a peculiar gal, but I don't know, some about her I like. <laughs> and I've always heard like horror stories about, oh, she's like a bitch and stuff. I'm like, I think she knows what she wants and she's kind of a particular person, but she's also Naomi Campbell and she can have whatever the fuck she wants. That girl earned it. I love these matte lip trans lipsticks, by the way. I just forgot I had them because they've been behind me on my shelf. <laughs> it's just some minis. Okay, I wanted to try out the formula for I bought one. And see what colors I really liked. I love me a little mini set. Like seriously, I'm a sucker for a value set. Okay, that perfect color. Perfect. Alright, let's well, setting spray it. Will this ever bottle ever end? I don't think so. It's like toothpaste. It just keeps coming and coming and coming. And you think you're about out, but you never really are. You just get tired of using it by anyone. I love the scent of that one. My favorite one, like smell wise, is the Milani one. I like the scent of the Milani's. And I like the dewiness of this one too, but it doesn't do much for longevity. Nor does the Dewy Scent Mist from Elf, but I really like the finish it gives. But I hate the smell because it's like coconutty and ugh, I hate coconut smells. But yeah, the Milani one, oh, I'm almost out of it too. The Make It Dewy. I don't feel like it says 16 hour wear, but I don't really feel like it prolongs wear that much. And it's a bit oily feeling, but it does leave a really pretty finish. But I just, I don't feel like it like really extends the wear that much or anything. Okay. Face is done. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go judge my hair, fix the earrings, and we'll see the finished look. All right, and this is the look complete using the Carly Bible palette from ABH. I think it's so pretty. It's just a nice, soft spring look. It looks really nice. I kind of love it. <laughs> like, I don't know, something about it's really working for me. Got my crazy hair going today again, and I don't know, just everything just kind of worked together, flowed beautifully, and I'm really happy with it. Also, I think these lashes look really good too. Uh, I'm practicing knowing when to tr where to trim my lashes down so they don't overwhelm my eye because I've had a bad habit of just like <laughs> lot crazy lashes. I need to try uh, Nakia Joy's lashes because I think she's kind of designed hers to be geared towards a smaller eye and it was a little shrimpy eye here. I, I need all the small eye. <laughs> products I can get. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and playing with some makeup and watching my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and like this look and if you recreate it or anything like that, be sure to tag me on IG. And you can always hang out with me over there on Instagram. I'm pretty active. <laughs> been more active in the past than I'm currently because I've been really busy. I'm going to start putting some IGTVs up over there and just spend a little more time on the old Instagrams. So if you want to hang out with me over there, Please do, link will be in the description box, and it's just at Anna underscore Bancaster underscore beauty. Also over on my blog website, AnnaBancasterBeautyBlogger.com, I have some new posts going up and some little mini reviews, and I have a lot of pictorials over there and some fun stuff, so if you'd like to hang out with me over there and read how I write, because I write much better than I speak, <laughs> feel free to join me over there and subscribe to it as well. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Stay spooky, stay safe, bye now.